Tia Mowry got a sweet surprise on Beyonce's birthday. On Monday, the 45-year-old actress attended the music icon's Renaissance tour at SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles, and Beyonce gave a nostalgic tribute to the Sister Sister alum after noticing the actress in the audience, and she posted the moment to her Instagram. In the middle of singing her 2011 ballad, One on One, the Grammy-winning artist created an impromptu remix, adding Tia and her twin sister to Mara Mowry's early 90s single, Yeah, Yeah, Yeah. In Tia's Instagram post, she started off in the caption by reminiscing on the first time she ever met Queen B. Penning in the caption, The first time I met at Beyonce was during her Destiny's Child days when she was on a production with my brother at Taj Maori. And since then, I have been lucky to cross paths with her throughout the years. From the beginning, Beyonce's undeniable talent is only rivaled by her incredible kindness and generosity. The family reunion star continued on by sharing how special the subtle shout out was to her and how blessed she was to be able to see the Renaissance tour. I felt so lucky to have been able to see her perform Renaissance on her birthday. You can truly see how amazing and detailed an artist she is and how much thought and love was put into the show. The highlight of the night was when she saw me in the crowd and she gave me a smile and a hello and then started singing yeah 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 from when at Tamara Maori too and I were in the singing group Voices. I was so touched by her gesture and I still can't believe that it truly happened. She's a true icon who continuously inspires me with her talent, dedication, humility, and beautiful spirit, Tia concluded. Another part of Tia's Instagram post was a fun clip showing her getting ready process, from getting her hair and makeup done to the final outfit reveal. The Twitches alum attended Beyonce's concert as a single lady, as she and her husband, Corey Hardick, announced back in October that they were parting ways after 14 years of marriage. The pair shared two children together and finalized their divorce six months later. Tia has been putting family first as she moves on to her next chapter. Back in May, Access Hollywood chatted with her at the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse premiere, and she gushed over her plus one, 11-year-old son, Cree. He is a really, really good kid. I'm so blessed to have him as my son. He's turning 12 next month. Um, it's, Soon to be a teenager. Right? I, I can't believe it. It's happened so fast. It, he's actually taller than me. I'm just in hills right now. Yeah. Um, and this is like his favorite character out of all the um, the heroes. And so I was like, you know what? Let's have a, a son and uh, mommy date. It was mommy and daughter date for uh, Little Mermaid a few weeks ago. Fantastic. Fantastic. He was a little jealous. He was like, Mom, I want to go, you know. So I was like, I got you. I got you. And here we are at the yeah. Spider-Man. Now, did you see part one of Spider-Man? I have. What did you think about part one? Uh, it was amazing. You know, like the effects and everything. Like the fight at the end. Yeah, I like that a lot. And, and I cried when the uncle died. Like I always cry. You know, yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm 44 and I cried too. Yeah, like, like, even if I watch the movie like five times, like I still cry, you know? He loves the character. So I was like, let me be like a good mommy today and bring him out. I want to ask you this, Tia. What do you hope to see in this new part two? You know, I just hope to see um, a lot of action, a lot of fun. Um, I feel like, of course, you know, if my son is having fun, I'm having fun. At the end of the day, as a mom, I just want to put a huge smile on his face. And that's, you know, what makes me happy, so. Well, Tia, I'm glad you said that because what we're asking everybody on the carpet here is about their high school years because that's oh. what this is about. My, we saw you grow up on TV, but Miles has some moments in high school. Can you tell us what was you like in high school? You know, I will say, you know, <laughs> I was really a good student. I valedictorian, high high school, straight A's. Um, straight A's. Yep, straight A's. 
You have A's and B's. That's, that's good too. But I had my sister with me, which was awesome. So, of course, there was a little bit of bullying, you know, every now and then. But it never got too intense because they knew that if they, you know, were to mess with one, they would have to mess with two. So, it, it wasn't that bad. Um, but you know, being a child actor and going to high school at the same time, it was it was pretty intense. I remember there was this one story with this one kid. He, uh, I was at my locker, and he screamed across the hall, "Your show sucks!" And this was like sister sister days, okay? And I remember, yep, I remember. I put my my he did. I put my two my my two hands on my hip, and I turned around and I said, "Well, the checks don't." <laughs> kid never bothered me again. So how about that? That's how you check them. You check them with that, the money die, brother. 